Hey everybody, today I'm going to be showing you a little bit about color correction and just a little bit about color grading in After Effects CS6. Um, color correction, for those of you who don't know, you probably do, but I guess I'll just say it. Um, color correction is fixing your footage to be the true color of what was on the scene at the time. And color grading is kind of like giving your fi film like a uh, color scheme. So uh, you can match your different shots and give your film like a sort of feel. Uh, this shot is an interview that I filmed a few years ago before I really knew what I was doing. <laughs> and uh, we'll be fixing it. So first you want to make go new layer, new uh, adjustment layer. Um, well, I like to make adjustment layers just so I can turn off all my effects at once when I'm working with different footage uh, instead of putting them on the footage themselves. Um, you'll see a little bit of that later on, but go to effect, uh, color correction, and we're going to go down to curves first, and you'll have this little line. Uh, once you click on the line, you want to click the dead center and kind of make a point right there. And what we're going to do, like a typical S curve, uh, you're on your RGB channel, by the way, and you just kind of like move it up a little bit for the top right and down a little bit for the bottom left side of the line. And it kind of gives it a better like contrast scheme. It doesn't look all that great right now. We haven't exactly fixed the color, but I'm just fixing the contrast a little bit because I don't like to work with the actual contrast. Now go to uh, color correction, and uh, we're going to go down to levels. Um, you see your color histogram, right? your RGB histogram right now. I'm going to minimize curves, and I'm going to grab my... Uh, mid-tone right there, that little triangle, and move it down just a tiny bit. And now we get, we get to kind of like a lighter side of the histogram. Um, that's all I'm going to really do with levels. You can go ahead and click this little FX right next to levels, and it'll turn on and off of that specific one. Uh, you can do this with all your effects. Uh, if you just want to turn them on and off really quick. Um, okay, so we're going to go up here again to effects, uh, the color correction again, this time we're going to go down to tint, um, there it is, tint. And first we'll turn your image black and white. Um, I'm, we're going to go ahead and uh, change the amount to you know between 10 and 20 percent. This kind of gives it like a little bit less of a desaturated, if it's like, I'm shooting with my DSLR so the colors and the contrast like can really stick out. So I'll probably desaturate it just a tiny bit and I just do it with tint. Um, and so the actual saturation filter. Now, one more thing, we're going to go to color correction, and now we'll actually be working with the color balance for the last thing. Um, I'm going to go ahead and just eyeball this, I guess. Uh, I'm going to work with my mid-tones. I'm not going to work too much with shadows, but I see a little bit of red peeking out for the mid-tones. Um, I think I'm going to go ahead and click that and do negative 20. Um, usually negative 10, negative 20 when you're making slight adjustments will help you out. Uh, that kind of popped out the green, so I'm going to write down negative 10 for that one, for that mid-tone. And I'm going to bring up the blues just a tiny bit, uh, maybe about 10 for that one. So I think the mid-tones look alright. Uh, I'm going to move to my highlights, which are, the, I guess, the lighter sides of the image. Um, bring the red down 20 there, too. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and skip the green and just go straight on the blue. Um, just 10. Alright, so that, that, looks, that doesn't look too bad. No, I'm going to turn it on and off. I think we can all definitely agree that it looks a lot better than that first shot. And that's a little bit more true color-wise. Um, yeah. So I'm going to minimize that. I'm going to show you something really quick. The reason why I have this adjustment layer is, you see, I can click the eyeball if I want to turn it on and off. Now, what you could do is pull all your effects and click the FX if you select them all, and they'll turn them all off, but it'll get kind of a strobe effect as it's working through all of them. If you want to turn them on and off quickly, you just click the eyeball next to the adjustment layer, and that way you don't have to worry about your footage um, or seeing any of that strobe. And if you're putting like different footage on the same thing, but they were all filmed in the same location with the same settings, then it's an easy way to keep your, uh, to keep your white balance going. So I'm going to go up to Effect and go to Color Correction, and I'm going to go down to CC Toner. This will be working a little bit with color grading. Um, right now we're on Tritone, but you can click Duotone or Pentone. So it shows you three of the five little things. Um, for the highlights, I'm going to go ahead and just make this sort of like a lighter skin color. Um, for midtones, I think I'm going to go with kind of a... Uh, 
sort of a light blue grungy color. Um, these are usually the settings that you make uh, for film, for like some classy film stock, which doesn't really work for interview, but uh, um, for shadows, I'm going to go with kind of a grungy darker green. And yeah, it looks like that, which looks pretty terrible, but we're going to go ahead and blend it with the original. It should probably be around 70 to 80 percent, maybe even late 80s, but when you turn it on and off, it kind of gives you this sort of color scheme that you can uh, make throughout your video. Um, I'm going to go ahead and select Pentone if you want like extreme control over. I guess I'll keep the uh, brights, but I'm going to move the uh, dark tones to sort of this darker blue. And I turn the FX on and it kind of shows that, which, you know, arguably might not or may or may not look better than the original than the other one. But if you're trying to do a cool color braid, then CC toner is a really quick and easy and it can be pretty effective if you use it correctly. Um, really what you gotta do is just play around with these things. Um, I'll show you really quick what it looks like what we did today compared to what we didn't, but uh, pretty big difference. And I'll tell you, we just like barely touched uh, color grading today, mostly color correction, but um, maybe I'll make a more advanced color grading tutorial later on. But uh, anyway, I hope this helps you out with your current and future projects. Uh, Thanks a lot for watching. Don't forget to comment or subscribe. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching.